how you guys like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. And I'm just going to do a light news update. Um, there has been chatter literally around the social media tonight um, about several developing stories with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I just wanted to put this out there just briefly, just to fill you guys in on this melee going on when there are actually more important stories going on. But I just want to report this because I am a fan of the show, and this is absolutely so. Um, just to cut to the chase, I am hearing from several websites that Nene Leakes has been fired fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta this is early information it is not confirmed as of yet however several other social media sites are reporting this information and there has been like literally an accumulation of issues with Nini. Most of which has been because she literally could not get along with anyone, um, including producers and Andy Cohen, allegedly, on the show. Um, literally, she's been fired. Uh, she walked off after the second. A Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. And she's been threatening, suing. Um, there's been back and forth Twitter and social media allegations with her concerning the show. And according to reports, the show itself is literally tired of this. Excuse me for that noise. I am just going to say that these are early allegations. You know, this is reality TV. She could be trying to put herself in a position so that she can get better pay. Um, with this coronavirus still going on, um, there's really no talk of even any filming right now because of the virus. So she could be just trying to put herself in a position to get better pay. However, there are so many people out here reporting. As of now, she's been fired. Now, there's a picture of Wendy Williams next to her on the right. And I put that picture there because people are alleging that um, she pulled that stunt earlier in the production. And we, Wendy Williams was just not going for it. She just was just like not into the stunt. And basically said she did not want to slum down to cater to housewives status because she was on a bigger status. Nene Leakes herself basically said, like, you know, we're friends. I'm just going to just cut it off on that point and not address anything else. So, I mean, these rumors could have been true because I really think Nene probably would have been in. A lot more if they weren't. And that's just my opinion on these allegations. Now, this is another allegation coming up that actually surprised me. There are also rumors that Kenyon was fired from Housewives of Atlanta also. And like I said, these are just alleged rumors. I do not know if this is true. But I'm going to tell you this. Kenya brought literally all the drama, all the drama to the season. I don't know if this, again, is a backhanded technique. Maybe her people want to get her more money. I do not know if the producers were a little fed up with her. But what I will say is that... I am literally hearing from several alleged sources on social media that Kenya Moore is out of a job on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, this comes on the heel of Eva Marcel 
uh, being let go from Housewives of Atlanta. Now, people are speculating it was because, you know, she was just too boring, uh, blah, blah, blah. However, I am just going to say that I don't think Kenya was boring. If she was fired, it was because of maybe something got really out of control. And um, the producers perhaps allegedly didn't want to deal with lawsuits and etc. Now, on top of the Nene leaks, Eva and Kenya being gone, which is shocking. I did hear that Portia still has a contract. She's become like the crowd favorite. She has went from the little housewife that could to literally rocking a show out. This craziness with her and Dennis is continuing. I am hearing that there are allegations that she is pregnant with Dennis's second child that he want to claim allegedly. And um, that they are, I don't even know, there was reports that they were married in Mexico, and then nobody came out to confirm it, and this is just a hot mess, but I mean, Portia holds her own, people love her, they love her mom, they love her sister, you know, Portia has become the queen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, she's still in. Now, I'm going to go into other rumors concerning the show. There are rumors that they're trying to get Phaedra back on the show. Uh, That will be interesting. It could work. I I don't even know. Um, There are reports about Tanya perhaps trying to be back on the show. Um, you know, she could come back. I haven't heard anything that she hasn't been invited back. Now you guys are looking at Cynthia and Mike. Um, this situation, in my opinion, was a complete hot mess. I was completely turned off from even liking Mike after that L.A. um little home welcoming party he did with all those best friend females for Cynthia to meet. I was literally done with him after that point because honestly, um, to be honest with you, if you are rocking with a guy that has like 15 female best friends, it's not going to end good. I'm just going to speak truth here. Um, this, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm really feeling bad for Cynthia. I'm, I'm just pausing because I just want to find a correct thing to say. Um, okay, I'm just going to say this. Watching what I saw, Cynthia can do better. That's the best way I could put it in my own opinion. I was not happy with seeing her in a position where she went to his house in L.A. in one of the episodes and all these women were there drinking and laughing and joking and kicking and, um, you know, he has like 15 women that are his best friends. I mean, it just looked crazy. Personally, I wouldn't even want to deal with a man like this at all. You're welcoming trouble. It just don't make no sense. So, like, you're out with him, you know, and I'm just imagining this from my own perspective. Not even Cynthia's perspective. I just want to look at this from my own perspective. So, you're out with him, hanging out, fool la la And what, he got three, four, five, six, seven women texting him. Call me, Mike. Oh, my God, I got so much going on. Help me. 
this is too much. Women, I want you guys to look at this from, I, I just want people to look at this from a human point of view. I'm not even trying to be messy. I'm not. But I'd be damned if I get married to somebody that has like, oh, 12 to 15 to 20 female best friends. So when is he going to make time for you? I'm female. We're the most needy people on the planet if you want to look at genders. They might feel obligated to text him at 1, 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Like they probably allegedly have been doing. I'm just saying, this is what women do. He'll pull out the best friend card and land in bed with Cynthia and he gotta go. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Cynthia, you are sexy AF. You don't need this type of foolishness. I'm okay, I'm just done with this foolishness. This is just this foolishness. I don't even know what to say. You know, let me just let me just go to like other slides. I can't deal with this foolishness. Okay, so Cynthia is still on the show. Um, I haven't heard anything about Candy. Um, I am hearing that Kenya is not on the show, and that's actually very juicy information. I really want to know why they got rid of Kenya, because, I mean, she is probably the biggest crap starter on the show. Um, however, um, I'm also hearing rumors that Phaedra, Joanna, and even Sheree will be on the show. So this is a crazy mix that they got coming up if this is true. And all I'm going to say is, you know, I am just going to say, I don't know if these rumors are true. People could be holding out to try to make more money, which may be difficult because the filming may be difficult because of the coronavirus, COVID-19. I don't even know how they will even try to film this year, if they film, with this virus going on. However, I'm here for it. This is probably my favorite um, crazy below-the-belt reality show that I follow. All the women on here are absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be following this. Um, like, share, and subscribe. This is going to be very juicy to see how this next season is actually filmed. Because like I said, it seemed like some major players are holding out for more money. Um, reports are going out to the media to defend them or deflect from whatever is going on. However, I don't know how this is going to end up. So I want to hear your comments. Who should be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? There has been a lot of people. And some people are actually saying that Claudia should be back on the show. So I would, like, I would definitely love to hear your opinion on this. This is a hot mess, as usual, with Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I'm definitely here for this drama. And tell me what you think. And tweet me and follow me and share this video. Until the next episode, you guys, enjoy your evening.